Baby bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. The case of an assault on a magician. Hey now, sweet music, graceful dancing, and mysterious magic performance. Here I come! Yay! Woohoo! They say that Mr. Beaver the Magician has prepared a never before seen magic performance this time. I can't wait! Come One day, on. <laughs> Forestville was going to hold a grand magic show that also included song and dance. Officer Doberman arrived at the theater with Sheriff Labrador early. Uh, Doby, we have a little time before the show. Uh, why don't we. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a scream from backstage at the theater. Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman immediately ran in the direction of the yell. When Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman arrived at the scene, the entrance to the dressing room was crowded with animals. Mr. Beaver, the magician, lay face down on the dressing room floor with a huge knot on the back of his head. A meerkat crouched anxiously beside the magician and called out in a high-pitched, worried voice. Oh, God! Wake up, Mr. Beaver! Wake up! Toby, call 911! Okay. Achoo. Officer Doberman let out a violent sneeze. He rubbed his nose and said, Yeah, there's a really strong paint smell. Oh, I'm sorry, officers. The paint on this window was faded. Oh, that's right. So I painted the window this morning. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, An ambulance quickly arrived and took the injured Mr. Beaver to the hospital. Can you tell me who was the first to arrive and find Mr. Beaver on the ground? It was... it was me. The meerkat, who had been crouching next to Mr. Beaver, raised his hand, trembling. I'm... I'm Mr. Beaver's assistant. A few minutes ago, when I opened the door, I saw a dark, shadowy figure knock Mr. Beaver out. And then that guy, he he jumped out the window. Uh, uh, but, but his clothes ripped after accidentally getting caught on a splinter on the window frame. As Sheriff Labrador approached, he saw a black scrap of clothing hanging from the window frame. Hmm, that's weird. Why are all the edges of this scrap so neat? Sheriff Labrador seemed to have stumbled upon some clue, while the show performers frowned with looks of concern covering their faces. Oh, this is terrible. Mr. Bieber's performance is the highlight of the show. Oh dear, where, where are we going to find someone to replace him on such short notice? Yes, yes. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, may... Maybe I could give it a try. A high-pitched voice came. It was Mr. Meerkat, the magician's assistant. To be honest, after all these years assisting Mr. Beaver, I know all of the tricks he performs. Well, thank you, Mr. Meerkat. <laughs> Great! <clears throat> I mean, I'll do my best. Mr. Meerkat quickly stopped the upturned corners of his mouth and was ready to hit the stage. At that very moment... Hold on! A loud voice caught everyone's attention. Sheriff Labrador looked at Mr. Meerkat with a piercing gleam in his eyes. You can't get on that stage, Meerkat, because you're the one who intentionally hit Mr. Beaver. Oh, oh, what? No way. It was you? Oh, oh. Oh, no, no, not me. It was the guy in black. Oh, God, why are you accusing me of doing something wrong, Sheriff Labrador? Mr. Meerkat's eyes were red, and he pointed anxiously at the black scrap of clothing on the windowsill, saying, You can see it with your own eyes, guys. Here is the evidence, a scrap of clothing from the guy in black. Oh, yeah? Sheriff Labrador removed the black scrap and showed it to the animals present. See how the fabric has nice straight lines? It doesn't look like it was ripped from anything. Someone must have cut this from some clothes and put it on the window. Uh, it's, uh, it's... On top of that, meerkat, look at what you've got there on your sleeve. Huh? you! Oh, it's paint! Hey now, I see! This high window was just painted this morning. Meerkat is too short to reach it, so he couldn't have gotten paint on his sleeves when doing his regular routine. Meerkat, you must have accidentally gotten paint on your sleeves when you hung up the black fabric on the window. Dobie's right. Do you have anything to say for yourself, meerkat? <sighs> I... I... I'm out of here! After him! 
Meerkat dashed out of the theater. At the same time, the theater began allowing spectators to enter, and the entrance was crowded with animals. Get out of the way! Move it! Meerkat! Out of Stop. the way! No! Absolutely not! Mr. Meerkat was violently knocked to the ground by the crowd that was pressing in. But none of the animals outside the entrance had noticed it, and they kept moving in. Who stepped on me? Ow, it hurts. This isn't good. Doby, use the intercom system to tell everyone to stop moving. Got it. Someone has fallen. Everyone, please stand still and stop moving forward so as to avoid trampling over them. Hey now, hey now, someone has fallen at the entrance. Please stop moving forward right now, please. Very stop soon, Officer Doberman had right the now. scene under control. Then Sheriff Labrador went to rescue uh, Meerkat out of the crowd. Uh, Meerkat lay on his back, flat as a pancake, his clothes tattered, his shoe missing, and there was a shoe print on his face. <sighs> Good thing you're not injured. It's extremely dangerous to go against the flow of a crowd. The consequences would have been unimaginable if a stampede had occurred. Oi, Faye. Thank you, Sheriff Labrador. That... that was horrible. All right, Meerkat. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. Now come with me to the police station. Ah, oh, God. My legs are too weak for me to stand up. Oh, boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mini episode on safety. Woof! Whoa! Oh! Today's show is fantastic! <laughs> Doodle Bear, next time we... Eh? Are you alright, little beaver? Someone stepped on my shoe and it came off! I'm gonna go back to get it! Wait! Wait! Hold on! Let's step aside and wait for a moment. It's a big crowd and they are heading out. So it's easy to get hurt going back now! Well done, Doodle Bear! Time to learn safety with Sheriff Labrador. When we find ourselves walking towards a crowd of people coming the other way, it's a good idea to keep a safe distance and wait in a nearby open area until the crowd passes. Never go against the flow of a crowd. Otherwise, it is easy to be knocked down and even cause a stampede, endangering your personal safety. <laughs> <laughs> 